Welcome back to Talking Shop with Shop Saver. I'm Brandon, back with Jesse and Garrett. Hey, guys. Hey, good morning, boss. Good morning. How are you guys doing? I'm a little tired today. I feel great. I feel amazing. You feel amazing? Yeah. You weren't you the one that was just ready to take a nap? I could still take a nap. <laughs> I always take a nap. Garrett, you killed it yesterday, man. We do what we can. We had a team member go down yesterday with a little illness. Yeah. We'll call it an illness. Yeah, right? something like that. Somebody got uh, <laughs> surgery for an early Christmas present. Yeah, there you go. And uh, Garrett stepped up to the plate. Yeah, he did. Filled some shoes there. So good job, Garrett. Woo! Um, last week was a pretty good episode, though. I thought we uh, talked a little bit about uh, you know misleading CNC companies. and you know, I thought we nailed it. Posters, if we will, right? I got a lot of people called, who's the imposter? Nah, I know, I did too. Not calling names out, sorry. Yep, can't mention names, sorry. That's not what we do. Do your research. Yeah, you'll find it. I mean, talk to our team a little bit. They'll, they'll walk you through it. Um, but anyways, how was your guys' Christmas celebration? It was awesome. It yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good, a good, good Christmas. Good time? Oh, yeah. Hunter's like finally to that age where he understands what's going on. That's like, cool. Oh, wow, Santa came. That's oh, awesome. that's all for me, right? So yeah. he, was, he was into everything. It was really fun. Yeah, Caden got uh, some goalie gear for Christmas. Oh, sweet. And... Uh, that's really a present to myself. Yeah, yeah it is. Because you know how awesome it is to take rippers against your son when he's standing in the net? Dude, yeah, I've seen pictures like in your basement. He's yeah. in full gear, and you're just launching Oh, yeah, I'm just him. launching them at him. I mean, it was just straight slappers on him for Hey, Kate and Dad had a rough day at work today. Why don't you go put your goalie equipment on <laughs> no, I don't have to ask him. I don't have to ask him. He come, I come home. I open the door. Full goalie gear. Ready, ready to do this? Yep, I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Like, it's awesome. That's what you got today, Dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he talks trash the whole time. Anytime he makes a save, he just talks surpri- trash. That doesn't surprise me. I don't, I think Where do you get, get it from? His mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he, uh, yeah, he's doing pretty good. He's starting to make some decent saves. He thinks he's uh, Cam Talbot, and he told me that last night, so that's Sweet. cool. Sweet. Hey, go, 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 save, go, 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 go. Sweet. So, yeah, apparently. Maybe he'll retire someday. Maybe he'll be on the Minnesota Wild here. So, yeah, he uh, just pumped. He's been playing hockey, so that was pretty cool. Hey, we got the Winter Classic coming up. We do. Next weekend? Next, yeah. Hey, this weekend. It's Saturday, I think. This Saturday, yeah, yeah that's right. God, that sounds where'd terrible. the year go? That sounds terrible. You don't even know what you're talking about. Icky. But uh, so New cool Year's outside. is this weekend, really? I think so. Wow. Where'd the year go again? Today's Wednesday, <laughs> so the 29th. So we only well, have we're two days there. left? You see the 29th? Yeah. Two days left. That's it? Two days. Dang. What? Dang. What? What? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? So hey, make sure you turn that into a button. What? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Yeah, so today's episode is going to be pretty easy. What? I'm going to be honest with everybody listening. It's just going to be a little bit about uh, 2021 recap. Yeah. And talk a little bit about 2022. Awesome. So, awesome. you know, we're going to... Do you have some big things coming in 2022? We do. Sweet. Yeah, we have some good stuff we're working on right now. Um, yeah, I mean, when you think about it, there's, there's a lot of things that we accomplished, though, in 2021. Yeah. We started the podcast. That's awesome. Kind of cool, right? Right. Garrett. We did it. I think we you did made, it. I think you made fun of me for this idea at first, if I'm no, not mistaken. Nobody made fun of you. We just said that we didn't think it was a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, we added some new machines to our shop. Yeah, we did. I mean, there was like this really small mill or something that we put out there, right? Yeah, a tiny one. And then uh, Mini mill, right? Yeah, mini mill. That's what they call it. And then now uh, we've expanded our shop out there a little bit already. Right. You know, we've done some of that, so we've changed the way things are. I know the, the office, we've moved into all of the office space now. Yeah, people are spread out. It's nice. We have some room a little bit now. We do. Actually, we're out of room, room already, though, up here. Yeah, up here we are. What for happened? Sure. Uh, we added some more people. You keep adding people, and then we keep running out of room. That's usually how it works, you know? We moved Garrett to the janitor closet. He, we did. It's a good spot for him. It's, it's really, nice. It's nice for naps, too, because yeah. no one knows. Yeah. It's pretty awesome that you can do podcasting, and then we just leave your office, and then you just continue working. <laughs> and then I get a nap. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, you know what we did this year, though, a lot? What's that? Work. We did. We put a lot of work in this year. Yeah, we did. There was no uh, lack of working for us in 2021. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. It was a busy year. You know what Garrett did this year? Everything. <laughs> Besides everything. <laughs> He revamped the social media and the websites. That was cool. That's pretty neat. Did a great job there, Garrett. Go check it out. Go check it out. What's that address? Chopsaber.com. Thank there you. There we go. Um, we hired some talent. No doubt about it. You hired me in 2020, sir. That's why I said in 2021 we made some improvements. We hired some talent. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, then we launched a new ERP system. Yeah. That's been fun. Yeah. 
It's been a learning process, to say the sure least. Sure has. Right? Don't they call it fun? <laughs> fun. No, we've had a good time with it. I mean, they honestly, it's, it all things fun. said and done, it's, it's going well. I and mean, for an ERP launch, they can go really bad really fast. And we have fortunately been able to do our jobs every day. Yeah, we've worked through this one. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, so it's been good. Um, which obviously I'm excited about for 2022. I mean, yeah, looking ahead, great. that's a good thing. We have this ERP system that's going to just make us a better company overall. You know, more organized, everything yeah. faster. Yeah, exactly. So you know, hopefully our goal in 2022 is to bring lead times down, right? Yep. Be able to ramp up production. Yep. We have a new expansion coming. What? Yeah, we do. Who is excited about the expansion? Everybody. Woo woo. Who wants to rent go karts in the expansion area before we put stuff I in there? I say we do it. <laughs> I prefer not to answer that right now. I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. I, I think you already have prices, don't you? I did get prices. <laughs> You Whatever better, happened to you that, better rent. You better rent those. Nope, I looked into renting them. That's no, a bad you can't idea. buy them. If I rent them, I'm buying them anyway. You have to put like little. You guys aren't going to give me anything to return cars. to them. I'm fine with buying them. You guys aren't going to give me anything to return anyways. Yeah, it's I'm fine true. with you buying them. I should. Here, here's your steering wheel back. <laughs> the rest of the cart is dead. All I have is this wheel, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, like, I, we know how that'll end. Well, you'll fix it. I've seen <laughs> no. you fix that car plenty of times when it's missing true. parts. We could get those, like, drift bikes. You see those? They got the two wheels in the back. They're really slippery, and you can just drift around. Do you have to pedal? I don't know if you pedal or not. I'm, I'm sure you could spend more and get the motorized ones, but yeah, I'm not paddling. Could you but those would be safer. Could you imagine giving you guys the option to slide around rather than having to drive straight? No. Could you imagine Chad sliding into you on one of those? I, no, thank you. I don't want to be involved in any of this. This is like Bowser. Crush <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> I'd be like Toad. Yeah, you would. More like Peach Princess or whatever it is. Wouldn't that Brianna? Princess Peach. That's Brianna. Peach. No, no, She's that's, that's, let's be real. <laughs> She's more like Luigi. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Diddy Kong, that's more like Brianna. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Um, that's probably safe. <laughs> She'll take it out. But guess me. what we're doing still for 2022? What's that? Still looking for some talent. Are we? <laughs> yeah, we need some more talent. <laughs> yeah, we do. Hiring more people. We're always hiring. Uh, always. Always. Like, just now hiring for Apply. Us. Yeah, apply, please. Um, we have some new equipment we bought. Yeah, we did. Pretty excited about Those it. Saws. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Those are awesome. Yep, going to be pretty sweet. So we got some new uh, automated saws. Yeah, those are cool. Um, we got some new website features coming, right, Garrett? We do. Probably January, February? I think that sounds accurate. Sounds accurate. All of our accessories will be on yeah. there. Yep, we're going to have some cool new things on there as well. Um, obviously, we're working on continuous improvement always. We, always. We've got You got to get better. If you're not right? getting better, you're standing still, right? Or getting worse, one of the two. Yeah. And I don't like to get worse or stand still. No, you don't. So like the reality squirrel. is we're going to get better. This is the worst year we ever were. Were? What? What? <laughs> what just happened? Are you speaking English this morning? I don't morning? know what I just said. Let me back it up real quick. This is the worst year we ever were. Yeah, no, it sounded as bad as I thought it did. Um, no, but this is, this is the worst that you know, the company will ever be in all reality. Like We are going to get better every year. Yeah, we are. So the cool thing is, is we got some new and exciting things coming. We added Mr. Sean Morley. Yeah, we did. Or as uh, Robert Bob calls him, CNC Sean. <laughs> CNC Sean. So pretty excited about that. He's uh, really talented with a CNC machine, and uh, he'll be able to assist Bob. You know, I know Bob is uh, not wanting to lift those sheets anymore. He said, you know, he goes, right. I've lifted sheets for way too long. He goes, I, I need some help out here. So yeah, they don't he's get excited any lighter when you get older. That's for sure. Yeah, no, we're excited about it because you know Bob's going to be able to engage a little bit more in depth in the software side, and then Sean is going to engage in the machine side. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome team. So, yeah, so I'm excited for next year's videos. We can't forget about Mr. Lee Roadhamel. That was my next thing. Yep. Joining us for some plasma stuff. We got a Mr. lot more plasma videos coming. Yep, we got Mr. Lee Roadhamel joining us in February. February. Yep. February, he'll be yeah, joining he's us. He's fired up. So he's, he's a master at that thing. He is. He's, he's, a, he's a plasma guru. Metal by Rhodey. Check him out. Yeah. He is a whiz when it comes to that stuff. We yeah, are lucky is. to have him on our team now. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard. <laughs> No, he's very good. Very, very good at what he does. Um, I'm really excited about what he brings to the team. Next year is going to be even better. He's already done some video, you know, quite a few videos this year for our existing customers, a part of Saber Nation University. Yep. But next year, we're going to have some more public videos coming our way, right? That's Correct. exciting. Garrett, you're handling a lot of that, right? Yeah, we're going to get some cool stuff done. Pretty excited about that. Might even do some, some combo stuff, do some plasma stuff with, with Lee, and then do some router Bob stuff and Sean stuff, and maybe see what we could create with both. So much stuff. That's a lot of stuff. We have some new topics coming, it sounds like. Yeah, we do. Some new topics for the podcast, maybe? Yeah. So, stuff to dive you know what in. would be nice, though? Send us some recommendations once in a while, right? Yeah. 
we've been getting them, but they've, you know, it's, it's they kind of fell off in the, it's last, the holidays yeah. and I get it, you know, but send us some ideas. We want, we want to talk about what you guys want to hear about. So send us some recommendations. You know, we're always looking forward to discussing things that you're interested in. Right. Um, you know, obviously I know some new topics we're going to talk about next year. It's going to be one of them is going to be warning. CNC can be dangerous. We're going to talk a little bit about that, right? Yeah. Keep your hand out of this. Keep your hand out of it. Don't touch it. Don't touch. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Spinning blade. I wonder if I could stop that with yeah. my hand. Ooh, spinning blade. <laughs> Ooh, fire. Woohoo. <laughs> Stitches. Um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about how CNC machines can provide value for your small business. That's something we plan on talking about next yeah, year. That'd be a good one. A um, little bit about gantry construction. Truth and facts, right? Are all gantries created equal? No. No. Negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Um, linear guide technology is something I know is on the, the slate for next year. Um, I know we're going to talk about more about auto tool changers. We talked a little bit about it this year, but we're going to get further in depth next year on that. Yeah. We have Vortex Tool joining us next year. That'd be fun. I think it's going to be Lucas, I believe, from Vortex Tool is going to join us on the podcast. Those guys are awesome. They are awesome. Um, we're going to talk about five things first-time buyers should consider. Okay. So that'll be fun. Um, and then we're going to talk about shop server products. I know, Garrett, that was one that you brought up that maybe talk about the differences between the different lines, right? Yeah. Go over each machine. Yeah. So yeah. we'll talk a little bit about that. You know, have a, have a little bit of fun with that. Um, that way you can know a little more before you call in. And then you have a little base on, okay, this is what a pro does. That's what IS does. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, give give you an option where we'll just kind of, you know, we're not going to give you all the technical details and get boring with it. We'll give you the high level of stuff. But try to talk a little bit about where one machine might fit an application versus another machine. Look, I know what this is about. Yeah. It'd so be nice to go over what each machine is, you know, ideally for. Yeah, it's just awesome, Jesse. You're going to learn something next year. I am. That's going to be, be great. great. You're going to be able to talk about I it. I got a brand new notebook. I'm ready. Let's go. Who's going to write the notes for you? Garrett. Okay, cool. I don't, yeah, I could, I guess. You'd do that for me. Yeah, you got I, extra I free time? Yeah, I would. You got some free time next year? I might. Cool. Next I got one of them dictaphone things, you know, those little microphone things you carry around. <laughs> what, what, it's what, called what, a dictaphone. What, 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 what was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're what? <laughs> um, yeah, no, we have we don't need any of those. Thank you. Um Ordered them for everybody. Nope. <laughs> Definitely don't need those. Um, yeah. So, you all right over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. You're good? I'm just looking forward to golfing in the office coming <laughs> into here. Golfing in the office. Yeah, we're, not, we're still not installing a golf simulator like you wanted. I'm sorry. It's a bummer. All right, we'll settle for, you know, a putting mat then. <laughs> just a little green. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brittany. She'll be receiving golf balls from the Going upper deck. Going over the railing. Yep. It'll be coming over the top of the railing. And she's shop savers. <laughs> Down there with a hockey helmet on. Yeah. She's sitting there. against her phones with a hockey helmet. Dunk. You know, the, the color green actually stimulates a higher productivity of work. I feel like you made that up. Oh, I, I actually think that's correct somewhere. 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 <laughs> Some guy I somewhere feel like said you, that. You really made that one up. Well, yes. Instead of a desk, he has a putting green. I liked it, though. Yeah, I sold it. You almost had me. That's convincing. It was very convincing. I thought the same thing. I was thinking, like, right away, we should paint the walls green. I see him typing into Google right now. He's trying to find some statistical fact that proves that he's right. I see him just going right now all over the internet trying to find Green something. is universally associated as it's linked to grass with <laughs> representational growth and renewal. So definitely growth as a company. <laughs> yeah, the more green grass than really gets me excited. <laughs> I was just going to say Grass really helps me grass, out. I'm always like, you know... It's time to go. Get I want to mow. Time. I want to work and mow right now. That grass, that green I think grass, you'd be surprised so. at the increased productivity we'd see in here. <laughs> no, I, I think I'd be surprised at the amount of time you are not on the phone anymore and more putting <laughs> between you and Chad who think you're going PGA next Just year. Just consider it. All right. Okay, I'll consider yeah, it. Yeah, ladies Thank PGA. <laughs> It's still pretty awesome. Yeah, that would be, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Not going to lie. Still pretty awesome. I'd be impressed if I could make the toddler PGA. Uh, I'd just be impressed if you can get on the golf course without getting hurt. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your oh, mouth. I threw my shoulder out. Shut up. You're putting. Don't even start with me. I'd uh, be impressed if you could race one lap without getting wrecked when I come watch you. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Oh, man. I crash on purpose. <laughs> Sometimes it's more fun. Just saying. Should we remind the listeners that the year end is still almost here and you should probably get a machine now? No, I don't think we should remind them of that. No. <laughs> That's a good idea. Don't tell them they have two days remaining. Just leave it. Uh, I like how he's like, should we remind them as he's reminding them? <laughs> well, I think you accomplished that, so there's nothing for me to do. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, that's true. There's only two days left. Yep. 
That's uh, 48 hours. <laughs> right. That is less than three days. <laughs> Did I do a good enough job? <laughs> but more yeah. than one day. But more than one. <laughs> and then pricing goes up. Oh, Simple no. as that. We're not taking this deal into next year? Sorry. Oh, boy. Can't. You know, I was talking to a guy the other day. He said, you know, I need you guys to hold this deal over to January for me. And I said, you know what? I wish I could. But here's the deal. Deals are made possible by profits. Correct. Profit margin. Correct. When I discount, it's because I'm taking profit margin away. When my supplier adds to my cost, my profit margin shrinks. Right. That's why discounts disappear. It's not because I don't want to give you discounts. Right. It's simply because I can't give you the discount anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, it's no longer benefit to the company. I can't. So just being honest, it's not that we're just, hey, we, know what? we don't want to give you a discount after December. It's literally our suppliers have given us notice of when our pricing increase takes effect. Right. And actually, it was supposed to take effect December 1st. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, through a little negotiation, I pushed her to January 1st. Yeah. So here we are. Six, six weeks of the sale is pretty awesome, though. That's a long that's, time. That's what I was going to say. I mean, we ran the sale for a long like, time. Like you had six weeks. Six weeks to pull this thing together, six right? Six weeks. So the good news is, if you're like me and you like to procrastinate, you still have 48 hours. You got two days. Not one, not three, two. <laughs> Garrett will take your call. Yeah, he will. Garrett I'll will try. send you an email. Yeah, I'll try. Text message. Text message, pigeon message. Pigeon carrier message. Doesn't matter. We're going to find a way to get that message to you. Oh, yeah. I don't know um, if the pigeon will make it in two days, but. Whatever. Maybe. Maybe not. See how fast he is. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> how fast does a pigeon fly per hour, Garrett? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Google again. Duh. Let's see what happens here. Uh, no, but yeah, so we're excited. We're going to be uh, you know, expanding our building next year. I'm really excited about that because it should give us the freedom to do more. Yeah. You know, the, the reality is, is like any company, your bottleneck really comes into place. He just found he it. Found Did it. you see the look on his face yeah. there? Go ahead, Garrett. 60 miles per hour is an <laughs> average sustained flight speed. Oh, wow. I love the look on his face. He got so he got excited, like, good. there's a statistic. <laughs> but it, but what's crazy is some racing pigeons have been known to sustain a speed of 93.75 miles per hour over wow. distances as far as 420 miles. Where can a guy buy a racing pigeon? Yeah, what what makes them a racing pigeon? I, I guess don't they know. have a number on the that. side of them, Upgraded obviously. wheels and wings? I don't know. <laughs> they have a number on the side of them, 51B. <laughs> there was a Belgian pigeon in 2013 that was named Bolt. That sold for four hundred fifty-three thousand dollars. I'm gonna start raising pigeons raising in 2022. Pigeons. Good news, shops there just came out with pigeon racing in be 2022. At, I'll be at your house this weekend to build a yeah. pigeon coop. <laughs> but no, yeah. So back to what I was saying before we got into pigeons. Um, you know, we're excited about expanding our business next year because, you know, this year has been really hectic. We've been really busy, and we we are very appreciative of all of our customers. But, you know, we understand that there comes a time when you got to expand, otherwise you can't keep up. With the, you know, order volume. The demand. Yeah, I mean, the reality is I don't want lead times to keep growing and growing and growing. No. So, you know, that's why we've said we've brought more in-house than any company around. You know, we, we do so much in-house. By far. Yeah, by, by a long shot. And now next year we're going to do more. I'm and excited. it's hard to say that because, like, how do you do more when you're pretty much doing it all already? That's what I was thinking, too. Like, how do you do more? It's, you know, you're just going to do everything more efficiently. You know, for us, like I said, adding the saws and, you know, expanding the building, we now have more space. And when you have more space, you can accomplish more things at one time. Yeah. And that's really what it's going to come down to is giving each department more freedom. Yeah. You know, and more room to, to move about so they can install new equipment in every department. It's going to look really nice out there when it's done. It is. It, I'm very excited about it. You know, we're just trying to speed up every process from paint to weld, you know, to the electrical side of things. I mean, everything. We, we're going to, you know, work on process improvement across the board. That's exciting. Yeah, so really, really excited about that. We got a lot of cool and exciting things coming. So stay tuned for videos next year. We're gonna have a lot of cool videos showcasing that. Um, you know, really, this is a good point to point out that, or a good time to point out. Excuse me. It, at this time, is you see how we're thinking about 2022? Yeah. You should be too. You should be as well. Yeah. If you're not thinking about 2022 already in your business, like you're already behind. How do you stay ahead if you're still thinking about 2021? That's a good question. Right? You, yeah. you can't. You should be already thinking about 2022. Um, you should have a plan in place. You should have a plan in place for sure. Yeah. And, you know, part of that plan should be expansion. You know, you're looking at CNCs. You know, if you're looking at how can I become more efficient? How can I be more profitable? What did I do in 2021 that I can improve on in 2022? Right. Simple as that. Right? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, like, reinvent the wheel for next year. Just take what you did this year and make it better. That's a good plan. Improve That's on good it. Advice. You know, we have to improve on things, and, that, and we're the same company. We're the same way as a company. We're not, you know, we're not immune to that. 
You know, so many companies get to that point where like, we we made it. We're at the top, right? Right. No, that does not how it works. We're never at the top. Right. There's and always don't, something. Don't wait. Yeah, there's always something new out there. You know, that's what I always tell everybody. There's always something new and exciting. And you want to stay on the front end of that. I'm not saying be the first one to try everything, right? I mean, right. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes it's nice to let somebody else try something that you're not sure about, right? But there is a point where you got to think about, hey, you know what? I was really good in this area last year, but what held me back from being great in that area? Right. What took me to the next level? Correct. And sometimes it's just labor. You know? That's what I always tell everybody. Sometimes it's just simply the labor. You didn't have enough time in the day. Yep. You know, I hear that so much from people. Like, we have, I have a guy that just emailed me this morning. He's like, oh, I finally got a time to look at this quote. I've been talking to him since December of 2020. Wow. It's like, we're a full year later. Wow. This is a reason you should be doing something different in your business. It yeah, shouldn't take you a year to get to something. That's what I was saying. Don't, don't wait. Don't wait till June to put your plan in place, right? Yeah. Have a plan for January. Correct. Right? How did he even find that email from a year ago? That's impressive. Because I email him three times a week. Oh, okay. That makes three sense. Three times a week, every week. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that, you know, that's, it's funny because I, I received a message online this week about that. Like, ah, oh, I requested a quote and I got three emails a week. Yep. We do our job here. Yeah. We do <laughs> yeah, it well. I promise you, all you have to do is let us know yes or no what you're doing and we'll make a note of it. It's that easy. <laughs> but we will follow up. If you request equipment information, we are going to follow up until we know that you have everything you need. Yep. So it's kind of part of who we are as a company. We try to be very proactive. Um, We're not going to change that in 2020. That'll never change. Never change. Ever change. I am a firm believer in customer service. Yep. Customer service will never take a backseat in my mind. And that is why we are spending the money on equipment and expansion and all that is because I can't continue to service our customer and grow. Something's going to have to give. Uh, absolutely. Right? Something's so got to give somewhere. Either you have to stop growing to live within your means here, Let's or you have that. to st- stop taking care of your customer so you can focus on growth. Right. Or you invest in yourself so you can continuously focus on support, while growing. And that's what we're doing. And that's what we're doing. Exactly. We add people. Like I said, we've added support people. We have added, we're, we're actually adding to our sales staff currently. Yeah. We've added some. Uh, I added you know, a sweet beard this year. No. No, you did not add a sweet beard this year. Yeah, sure You did. had it last year too. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Did I get it? I don't remember. Yes, yeah, so you had a beard last I don't year. I remember you. It was a while ago. It looked the same. Either. Still looked the same. This is Beard Papa. Remember that time that your son used your comb? That was cool. Uh, moving forward. The, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> it's a sore subject for Jesse. Just for I can't even tell that story on the podcast. If you, yep, if you make a call to him, he'll tell you the story, though. That's um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the expansion is going to be awesome. Like I said, I'm really excited about that. But like I said, you should be thinking about that. And I'm not saying, like, you have to run out and buy a bigger building, right? right. That's not what I'm saying. Like, right. expansion can be in many areas. Expand your advertising. Expand your equipment. Expand your equipment, expand your staff, expand your hours, right. expand, you know what I'm saying? Like there's so many ways expand to expand. your product line. Yeah, your product line. Like, there's so many things you can get into that can make you a better company or a exciting company, Yeah. right? Sometimes yeah. it's about excitement. You got to generate some excitement around your, yourself, your product. That's right. Right? Yeah, if right? you're not excited about your stuff, how is anyone else going to be excited? That's, that's the truth right there. If, you don't, if you're not excited to go to work every day, why are they excited to come to you? Yeah, they're not. Yeah, you know, that's me. I'm excited every day. Every day. First one in the office every day. That's very true. Because I'm excited. You have the keys, sir. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Dang it. I personally. We can't get in without you. I personally took a jump on 2022 myself. What'd you do? I took the first day of January off. <laughs> nice. Oh. Good for you. <laughs> Good job. How was that? Oh, wait. Maybe. Was that not what we were going for? You both yeah. got a jump on 2022, right? <laughs> Good news. Me too. I took the first day off as well. Did You're you going to be first, heading like, down to Arizona? Weeks? Uh, I did not take the whole two weeks off. No, um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. might might be heading heading south for a little little getaway. But uh, you are you, getting old. You and I both know I'm not gonna stop working. <laughs> um, there's 24 hours in the day, and I'll use them all. I'll use them all. Somebody made that comment online last week. It made me laugh. Somebody had a question at like three in the morning, and I saw it and I responded to it. And the guy posted, "Wow, that was fast." And then somebody else posted. Brandon uses all 24 hours in a day. <laughs> this is true. It is very true. This is true. I will use all 24 hours in a day. Um, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance, yeah. Except for tonight. I'm not using all 24 tonight. No. I'm really tired. I'm very tired, too. But you know what? We have 48 hours left, and honestly... That's two days. That's two days. Not three. More than one. Um, yeah, but honestly, I mean, for me, this episode's not meant to be super long today. No. Um, it's just meant to recap, and I think we've done a good job of recapping, you know... 
2021. Yeah, we have. And it's meant to look forward to 2022. I want everybody to be excited. Like I said, we have some new and exciting things coming that we haven't even mentioned that, to be honest with you, I'm not going to mention. I got some stuff. I got to keep some secrets, right? You know, yeah, We got to keep some excitement. got to keep them tuning in. Yeah, so we got some exciting things coming. So stay tuned for January. I know we'll have some announcements coming in January. It's going to be an exciting year. Yeah, we got some cool stuff coming. We're working on a lot of big projects right now, and uh, our staff is just killing it. I mean, I, I can't say enough about the team here at Shop Saber. I mean, I got to get a shout out, not just to the sales team, because they've been putting in the time to make sure everybody gets what they need, but, you know, the support guys for keeping people running, for the parts guys for keeping parts coming in and out, you know, especially through supply chain issues, right? right? You got to give the parts guys, you know, a round of applause there. Like a standing ovation. Standing almost. ovation. Yep. Go ahead. Give them a standing ovation. Right. And then, uh, you know, with that being said, you, you also have to look at the production guys. Yep. And we could sell anything, but if it's not going out the back door, it doesn't matter. They're setting records for getting machines. Setting out records. Back there. Those guys are awesome out there. So, yep. shout out to every guy that's on our production team. You know, whether you're in paint, electrical assembly, you know, welders, welders, fabricators, mill operators, it doesn't matter. If you are on our team, awesome job. I mean, Absolutely. honestly, I, Can't say I enough. yeah, I need to make sure I give a shout out to everybody on behalf of everybody here. Um, you know, obviously, you, we killed it in 2021. My our team here is is done everything they can to be the best they can in their areas and. That makes us a, a very powerful company. I mean, it's a very exciting time right now for us. So um, I hope everybody else is uh, enjoying themselves. Hopefully everybody else had a good 2021 and looks forward to 2022. But Absolutely. That's really all I have today. You got anything to add into that, Jesse? That's it, man. You said it. What, what, are, we, what are we working for hours on uh, New Year's Eve? That's a good point. We should talk about that. So uh, we're going to be here till midnight. Uh, we're going to ring in the bell. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I got nervous for a second. We have, say, I, I probably we have 24 be. hours, and we're going to use them all, boys. Yeah. Um, no, we are going to be here on New Year's on a limited schedule. Most of the place will be closed, to be honest with you. We're going to, yeah. we're going to close the place down for most. We're going to tell uh, New Year's or New Year's Eve? New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve will be closed. I'm sorry. Good point. New Year's Day, we're all closed. We're, yeah, we're it's all a Saturday, I believe. Yeah, it's a Saturday. Um, but New Year's Eve, most of us will not be in the office, to be honest with you. Right. you know, most of the team, we're going to tell them to go enjoy themselves. With a select few people, maybe in and out of the office. You know, I know some of the sales guys here. I know we're planning on coming in for a little while. Yep. Um, Finish up. Garrett, I believe you have planned to be here for a little bit. Is that my understanding? Or no, you're going to be gone. You have something going on. That's right. Garrett's gone. Garrett's. Are you going to Wisconsin? Wisconsin, baby. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm scared of there. He's like, wait, I'm supposed to be here? No, that's right. Yeah, Garrett. uh, Garrett killed it. So uh, Garrett's going to be gone on that day. but yeah, like I said, a handful of us will be here, so get that order in still. You still have time. Two days. Two days. If you're listening to this, you have today and you have tomorrow. Yes, you do. Boom. Make it happen. in 5 p.m. tomorrow. Let's get it done. You have two days. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Brandon. I'm Jesse. Thanks for talking shop with ShopSaber.